Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Hello everyone and welcome back to All Star Gamers for a win. This is Eric. And this is Eugene. And welcome back to Bioshock. Last time I got my butt kicked by three elite Rosies, but I eventually rescued the last of the little sisters and found all the components of becoming a big daddy. So what's our current goal? Well, we have to summon a little sister in order, in order to let us in, in order for us to access the next room. So we need to find a vent? Yeah, the very one right there. On the beta, it would mean very much to me if you will be gentle with the girl. Ein kleines Mädchen. Oh boy. Escort mission time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Are you glad that I showed up in the <laughs> finale? Yeah, because I am not well equipped <laughs> for hard mode in this game. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it wasn't very fun seeing you get tossed around like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah. For forty minutes. Pretty much. Not even outside of all the backtracking that had to be cut from the from the last video. Yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that again. Okay, after that saving nonsense. Hurry, Mr. B. You must protect us. see the angel dancing in the sky. Guess I'm leading. Yep. <laughs> okay, so what can you tell us about this escort mission, Eugene? Nothing that the viewers won't be able to. They'll be able to see. <laughs> Angels don't wait for slow folks. Okay, so. So, uh, how's it feel becoming the big daddy? Well, the same. <laughs> you said that that you didn't like it because of you or whatever, but it doesn't really bother me that much. Okay. <laughs> going in with your big daddy down there. Okay. You guys ready to just ignore him and keep going? Oh. Guess that's it for the big daddy. <laughs> well, he tried his best. That's all that matters. <laughs> what else? What else do you want from front team? Oh, me poor Moira! I me wee baby Patrick! <laughs> Don't be a slow Mr. Maybe one day I'll get me a Oh, I'm the slow one. <laughs> Oh, I can only tell that actor is Greg Baldwin is way out of good time playing the Atlas or Fontaine. <laughs> he sure did. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a surprise that Atlas is played by the same actor who played Uncle Iroh in Avatar The Last Airbender and Aku from Samurai Jack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> you can hear the voice from the laptop for some reason. Hold on just a sec. I forgot I still had the video playing on my phone. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. I was looking back at the video to remember like what was the last weapon we upgraded, and I forgot the video was still playing on my phone. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that, that's funny. <laughs> Okay. All right. I guess now we have to get into the nature of this uh, of this escort quest. 
physically free of the least gathering. Too strong with mental condition and still holds them to that terrible path. For still such a smart, you can never recall. Okay, so the gimmick with this is that uh, the little sister is gonna strike some at him. But in order, however, you have to defend the little sister from all incoming enemies that are on the attack. I remember this was considered the most infamous uh, part of the game uh, to a lot of people because. Because they have to not only defend the little sister, but also make sure they don't die at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely gonna have to keep on your toes on this one. Yeah, meanwhile, you make, you make this look easy. Yeah. If I was playing this, I'd probably be dead in a few seconds. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and, and if you don't like this mission, then <laughs> uh, you wouldn't see nothing yet unless you chose, unless you go straight to Bioshock 2 afterwards. <laughs> Because they not only bring this uh, escort mission back, but it, because of the context that you play as a big daddy in the sequel, they make that they make the side quest the main the main focus of the of the game. Yeah, they sure do. Maybe we'll showcase that whenever one day when whenever we end up uh, covering Bioshock 2. But until then, this is all you have to deal with before you can go after Frank Fontaine. So. Do you have to just follow the little sister everywhere, or are you going to be, or you going to be, I'll be a bit more patient, like real big daddy. Subject number two, time. So yeah, pretty much all you have to do is just, uh, just attack whoever is in the way. I imagine with the... I, I imagine with the grenade launcher you could still set up some trap lines to, to so you could be prepared for when they show up. got stuck to him over a sec. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh man, that little sister is on, on a lot of sugar health. She'll be fine. <laughs> oh. So uh, what happens if the little sister runs out of health? I don't know, I've never tried to get to that point. Oh, looks like you're almost there. Well, at least that big guy is doing all right for after getting crushed. Well, unless it's a different one. <laughs> Not longer infused with other bears, vulnerable as any child. Oh man, 
Does that make this the second Let's Play where we see children get nerfed? What? <laughs> That's a shout out, dog. Huh? <laughs> what? What did you say? Is this is this really the second Let's Play we've done that that results in children getting murked? <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Okay, so if you let a little sister die, you have to summon another one to the vent. Yep. Hurry, Mr. B. <laughs> I can see the you react too late and you end up getting a dead child on your hands. Uh, I didn't react too late. I knew that turret was gonna shoot at her. <laughs> you just let her get shot? You wanted to know what would happen. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. That's bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not an option, but... <laughs> but, I asked the question and got the answer. Yup. Yeah. In the most casual sense possible. Pieces of a big daddy suit, but we are. But we just did that. What do you lose a piece when you get damaged or something? No. I'm surprised the little sister is immune to getting shocked. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's weird. Don't be a slowpoke. Slowpoke. <laughs> We're gonna get a second child killed, aren't we? We'll see. <laughs> to go out for for the beast to set in. <laughs> so is this area like a museum? It looks like it. <laughs> no! Oh man, he's dead. <laughs> Death killed off screen. <laughs> oh man. Well, good thing there's an event nearby. I think that's why they put a lot. Uh, a lot. You didn't see all the events we passed by? Oh yeah. Oh. I guess they make them more commonplace to. So you don't lose too much progress. Yeah. This doesn't affect the ending of the game, does it? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when we get there, because... If um, memory serves, this is probably the last thing you have to do before you get, before you get to the end of the game. Yeah. Hurry! The harvesting will draw the attention of the slicer! We're on a time bomb. <laughs> sure, we got two kills so far, but I think we can manage. See? No problem. <laughs> oh boy. Little sister doesn't get a whole lot of variety of dialogue. Sounds like we heard about the angels. <laughs> oh, 
I think now she is. Oh, I have a feeling that thing's gonna explode. Okay, good. <laughs> Guys, go really handle a second time we watch a child unceremoniously get killed. <laughs> Alright. How much further are we till we. Till I don't remember. I haven't played this game in. like. five years. Oh man. I don't even remember when's the last time I played this game. I don't either. <laughs> You don't want to fight me? <laughs> yeah, you you better take him on. Before he kills a child. Gonna not go completely against uh I don't think he's trying to kill the child. Oh he just wants to pick a fight with you? Where's where'd you do? He wants his little sister. Oh <laughs> Dang, he's with he's with you, man. Um, you're, you're getting cornered. I know. I see that. <laughs> oh, he's, he's gonna charge. He's gonna charge. Oh, boy. Does that big day just stay there until you say you come back for round two? Probably, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you may as well just laugh before that. <laughs> oh, no, he found you. <laughs> I guess he wasn't done with this fight yet. No, he was not. <laughs> and you fought an elite bouncer. I fought against three elite diplosies. I know. Oh. Just a casual spicer. One that killed me. <laughs> oh, I'm all out of rounds. How you gonna tackle the final boss? <laughs> we'll see. Alright. Okay, now we can go back to our progress. However much there is. We already heard enough about the angels. <laughs> yes, yes we have. <laughs> All time, aren't we? Yeah, most likely. <laughs> oh man! Hold on, we have we have supplies we have to pick up. Besides, we need them. Well, I need them. Okay. Hmm. Is that the That's end point? Weird. Oh no, it's just fire. <laughs> Never mind. How are you supplied? Oh, okay. Oh boy. Yeah, we need all of that. Yes, we are. Alright, we're, we're almost at the end of this. Let's play, everyone. Welcome to the got all the first aid. This might be hippo. Hypo, as I can. Hey, then you went. Okay, exploding buck. Hooray, side quest done. There. You must use the needle of the little sister to drain Fontaine of his atoms. Thanks. This is the only way to defeat him. 
It only took two of you. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe we got two, ch two children killed in, in this side quest. Well, I mean, not side quest, escort mission. It's the price of war. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> All right, you ready to finally finish this? Nope. <laughs> this is the first time I played on hard mode, so. Oh boy. Fontaine fellow, he's a crook, but he's got the Adam, and that makes him the governor. Bill Mac McDonough. Let me see how that ended up for him. <laughs> yeah. Fontaine. Yep. Final boss of the game. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. And a quick auto save. We didn't measure. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what's become a fun thing. It's become a muscle man. Yup. <laughs> muscle man with no junk. <laughs> Okay, so it's Jack versus Frank Fontaine one on one. So, what do you remember about this boss fight? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember. So, you have to not only dodge his projectiles and charge attacks, but you have to deal enough damage to him to where he has to go to recharge. And then while he does that, then you have to then you have to jam the needle into him to drain his atom. Did I get that right? I think that's something the audience could have figured out on their own. <laughs> oh, gotta make sure. <laughs> Dang that security alert. Just drained very quick. <laughs> Don't get it. Oh, yeah, I guess we now have the little sisters cheering us on. Alright. Oh, I guess they have uh, vending machines here as well. Yes, they do. Ooh, the napalm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he did not like that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he hurt himself. Oh. Yeah, gotta get, get to him. I'm gonna cut you, into bits. you sure about that, Fontaine? Oh, he, he's already looking like he's... Like he just dealt with Navigante? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was gonna say he looked like the result of... It's taking too long in the tank booth, but sure. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, we now gotta deal with Spicer as well. Along with tanking on, on things. There you go. <laughs> Man, he's desperate. <laughs> There goes another one. Okay, let me see. Let's blow him up. Oh. <laughs> Silly Fontaine, you can't shoot your electric attacks by the fence. They'll just cancel them out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Oh. 
And let's finish him off once and for all. There we go. Fun thing. I... How many times did I die? Not once. <laughs> I sent you topside. I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up and I tattooed inside your head. Now, if you don't call that family, I am defeated Alice. And there goes Fontaine. Say goodbye. <laughs> You'll be fine. Walk it off. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't think he'll be walking off anytime soon. Don't think there's supposed to be a piece of debris in the way on the right screen, but okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. And I got the good ending. Oh, that's good. <laughs> they offered you this city. Seriously good at this. <laughs> and you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. Hmm. Good ending. Yeah. Alright, and that's about it for Bioshock. Uh, so, what do you think? I had fun. Same here, even if I kept dying multiple times in the last few parts, but yeah, does anyone wonder why this was considered a great game back then when it first came out? <laughs> yeah, definitely had a very engaging story all the way through, mm -hmm. especially with all the themes regarding uh, capitalism and how much the high society of Rapture have kind of eventually collapsed in on itself once, uh, once all the genetic splicing just... Well, there is a lot more factors to it than that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indeed. And yeah. Well, I remember, uh, this was, this was still a great fun game. Having to search around, uh, loot everything, especially finding off the big daddies in order to either save the little sisters, or harvest them if you're going for the evil thing too. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And uh, anything else you want to mention regarding the game? I got nothing. <laughs> oh yeah. The game definitely uh, left behind quite a reputation back then. As that's definitely one of the greatest games that came out in the era of the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And, uh, wouldn't be tell. And, of course, it later developed into its own franchise with uh, Bioshock 2 coming out like a few years afterwards. And then uh, Bioshock Infinite, which uh, took the series in, a, in an interesting direction. Especially with its DLC, but more on that uh, for another time. So yeah, I guess that's about it for Bioshock. Is there anything we plan on doing with this uh, Let's Play? What do you think? Hmm. Well, I know that there's still like the DLC campaigns that are included in this, so uh, maybe sometime we'll definitely take the take a look at those. Okay. And if I have no experience with any of them, I just mainly prefer playing the main campaign. And when I got the game on PS3, uh, it didn't come with the DLC. Because, oh yeah, interesting thing about the PS3 version, if you, well, how I got on PS3, because I originally got Bioshock Infinite, but every, every standard copy of Bioshock Infinite on PS3 came with the original Bioshock. You got a download file for you to 
but you could download the game. And you're able to play the entirety of the game. With the only catch being you have to insert the Bioshock if in a disc in order to play it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was how I was first that was how I first got in, got Bioshock. And had to be included with Bioshock if in it. <laughs> so hey, that's at least a pretty good deal. Two games in one on PS3. <laughs> okay, so that about wraps it up for this main let's play. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and Next time, we will definitely jump into yet another Let's, let's Play in the future. Or in terms of Bioshock, we'll, we'll definitely check out the DLC, the DLC that the game has to offer. Till then, this is Eric. And this is Eugene. This is All-Star Gamers for the Wins, signing out. Laters.